Currently, there will not be issue of removing of subsidy if our refineries are working. We have the crude oil. You, you, you drill the crude and take it to the refinery and refine it and sell to Nigeria. Now you are just talking about the cost of refining and probably a little margin for the, the company or the industry or NNPC to get their own profit. It is far less compared to importing fuel from foreign refineries. Far less. And so when you look at it, there will not be any issue of subsidy, removal or no removal. That's the truth. Because the issue, the whole issue of a subsidy in Nigeria is a gamut of fraud. Whatever they are putting, even the money they are collecting and putting in the name of subsidy is ending on in the pocket of a lot of people. The PC government, during their campaign, that was one of the campaign promises that they used that immediately they come to office, that subsidy will be removed. They agitated against subsidy, and they said that subsidy is a scam. And since they came, this is almost eight years now in the office. They have not even discussed anything about removal of subsidy. Now they are about to go at the 11th hour. They say they want to remove subsidy. See, this APC government, I don't trust them. They have failed Nigeria woefully. In fact, in summary, the APC government is a scam. We have entered one chance already by voting the APC government. Look at all those promises that they promise us. All of them are empty promises. Those things that they kick against during Jonathan administration, they came back as a government to swallow it, Obla Sanka. So they are fellows woefully. Actually, what is going on in the country now, they are ship everywhere. So I don't think removal of this subsidy will make sense because if you check the oil sector now what they are planning that moving oil to the gel is very bad we see the 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 things they are using to protect it to Nigel is very bad we are dying in hunger there's no good road in our country you can't move from here to Onicha you can't move from here to Lagos freely everywhere is bad there's no light Insecurity, kidnapping. There's no job. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a graduate. Over 16 years plus now, I graduated. No job. So what are we doing? What are, are, are they making sense? What they are doing? We we want the burden. US, everybody should come and seek for us. We are crying here. We can't even feed well. I don't know how to put it that they want to remove a subsidy in two months time. It will not work. It's not a welcome uh, development. This is what Buari could have done since uh, long ago before he will leave. So we have been expecting Buari to do something before then. Now, we are not happy with what is going on in Buari's government. Things are not going well. Look at cashless policy. Look at things. Youth are not happy. No job. No security. So please, Buari should do something. Buari should put things in order before he goes in two months' time. What Buari promised us, he did not do it. Even Lord Jonathan, we were like, oh, Jonathan, your regime is not okay. Let us another. Buari promised us change, but no change. No change. So Buari regime is a scam. Buari will not, come, will, not, will, will not move on by the special grace of God after Tulumuna. No more APC again by the special grace of God.